What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always, if you are enjoying the content, do subscribe to my channel, it is free to subscribe. Got to keep you guys up to date here every single step of the way with all the latest Manchester City transfer news this summer. So if you haven't already, do subscribe. Also don't forget, social media links, they're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries don't forget as well to leave a thumbs up 300 likes is the aim do let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below and finally i want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor which is brought to you by sofa score sofa score are going to keep you guys up to date every single step of the way with all the latest football scores ahead of the 2024-25 season going to keep you up to date with all the latest match information along with the statistics analysis and all your good footballing needs and what i really like about sofa score is it's not just limited to football but all the sports that you guys love to follow it's all in one place all in one app with all the latest scores do go and check it out free app to download links and details there in the description it is worthwhile downloading and seeing if you guys do like it and anyone that does download sofa score using my link in the description or alternatively the qr code on screen does help to support the future content created here on my channel so we're going to crack on with this video we've got no contract news we've got no out news got a couple of ins to speak about so the first i want to speak about Xiao neves and a bowler over in portugal have said that both manchester city and manchester united are not in for signing Xiao neves from benfica this summer the player only wants to move to paris saint germain over in france and that move is uh, getting ever closer don't expect any late moves from manchester city in the market for Xiao neves it very much which looks like he is going to be a PSG player for the upcoming season. So that's pretty much done and dusted. We're going to move on to the final transfer. Real meat of the video. I want to speak about Bruno Gimaraes at Newcastle United. Now give me sport of giving an update on this transfer. They said that Manchester City's stance right now is they're confident that they can sign Bruno G this summer. They say that word coming in from Newcastle is that they are concerned, they're worried uh, that Manchester City are going to want to make a move for Bruno G this summer and the concern that Bruno G is going to want that move. Now the report does end by saying that Manchester City are currently weighing up whether they want to make a move right now or not and I'm wondering because there's several different avenues how Man City could approach this transfer not really too unique there's uh, lots of examples of Man City in the uh, previous few seasons of how we've approached different transfers and uh, the different avenues we could explore potentially it looks very similar to what City are hoping we did with Jack Grealish now there was a release clause of course in his Aston Villa contract when we signed him where Manchester City wanted Jack Grealish to tell Aston Villa that he wanted to leave that he wanted that move to Manchester City and he only wanted to join Manchester City that was crucial in making this transfer happen now Jack Grealish never sat down and handed in a transfer request he never demanded a transfer away from Aston Villa he had mutual respect and a mutual understanding with Aston Villa where he politely told them that he's got an opportunity here of a lifetime for him to go and leave his boyhood club uh, a club that he adores a club that he absolutely loves that he is pretty much a club legend at he wants to leave and he wants to go and pursue and push his career to the next level at Manchester City and in the end with that release clause Manchester City managed to make that transfer happen so that's the one avenue and I think that might be the avenue that City look at here for Bruno G where he'll politely tell Newcastle United he's got an offer coming in from Manchester City he wants to join Manchester City I'm not going to demand a transfer I've got tremendous love and respect for the football club for the staff for the players uh, his fellow teammates coaching staff everybody involved in the football club and the fans as well he doesn't want to leave with any bad blood at all but he has a tremendous opportunity here to join Manchester City the Premier League champions playing Champions League football for next season to work with the best manager in the world in Pep Guardiola as well and I can't see Newcastle United then standing in his way the big hurdle would be negotiating the transfer the only difference that you've got between the Jack 
Grealish transfer and the Bruno G transfer here is that release clause. Both worth £100 million, of course, but Bruno G's release clause has expired and Man City aren't keen on paying that £100 million. And the uh, big million dollar question here is just how willing are Newcastle to negotiate that transfer? Because as I was saying yesterday, Manchester City are keen to pay what they were willing to pay Lucas Pacatar for last summer, looking at around £80, £85 million pounds at the very maximum with Newcastle. They're probably going to be referring back to that release clause and saying it was £100 million pounds in June it's probably going to be 100 million pounds in July and guess what in August it's also going to be 100 million pounds it may even if they're not happy about Man City's approach here even add a few extra million onto the transfer as well as a way for a tactic for them to try and get 100 million pounds so it could be a, a very sticky transfer and it could get very sticky very quickly and things could collapse and things could go south uh, very easily so Manchester City I think it would be well within their best interest to have backup options contingencies because I think it's so important that Man City had that number six number eight role in their team to ensure that there is competitive competition for Rodri and also he has the opportunity to rest and you've got a player that could potentially uh, can also work and play alongside Rodri as well which I think would be the big difference between Calvin Phillips uh, and, and potentially going on to replace someone like Ilkay Gundogan, which I don't think, in my opinion, Man City have adequately managed to do so. Uh, made a good signing in uh, Mateo Kovacic. Mateus Nunes, I'm sitting very much on the fence about. Uh, I need another season of information before I can judge on whether I think that is a good signing or not for Manchester City. But there's a little gaping hole in Man City's midfield that just has to be addressed in this summer. If it isn't addressed, then this window, to me, cannot be that successful for Manchester City. We cannot allow Rodri going into another season and we're needing him to do 55, 60 games for us. It just cannot happen. Now, the other avenue that we could explore with this transfer could be similar to that of Harry Kane, of Lucas Pacatar, of Declan Rice as well, which is where Manchester City are going to rely on the player to put pressure onto the club to ask for that transfer. If they don't ask for that transfer and they don't choose Manchester City, that transfer does not happen. Now, Lucas Pacatar, we never really materialised that far into the transfer. Everything was getting drawn up. Agreements were getting found with the players' entourage and Man City were willing to sit down and negotiate with West Ham before the betting allegations uh, came out. But once they did come out, Man City had withdrawn their offer and they chose to make a move for Mateus Nunes instead. But uh, it's very much sticky transfers that I like to call the hard low ball being played by clubs and by players as well. And you've got to be so careful in the transfer market because Declan Rice didn't choose Manchester City. City went in with one offer, a take it or leave it offer, which ultimately was rejected with Arsenal willing to pay a little bit more. I have my doubts about whether that actually happened or not. Uh, however, that is believed to be the fact that it did happen. Uh, it doesn't sound very much like something Manchester City would do. But the interest in Lucas Pacatar in uh, Harry Kane as well, it very much was there. And uh, the players, in the end didn't force the issue. Uh, certainly with Harry Kane, he didn't want the transfer or he didn't want it enough to ask for that transfer, which is why we settled on Jack Grealish instead. And with Lucas Pacatar, uh, if he'd pushed the issue a lot earlier last summer, he could have been a Manchester City player before the betting allegations came out, once they'd come out and uh, Man City probably quite thankful that they did come out when they came out rather than spending a lot of money for a player that potentially could be banned for a very long time. Uh, and I think Man City's lesson that they're looking at in the transfer market here is very much what I always like to say, summer's long, anything can happen. And Man City will play a patient game here with Newcastle. They'll try to speak, I imagine, in the coming weeks with Bruno G's entourage. They'll get an agreement in place, a verbal agreement with his camp about personal terms, length of contract. That puts Newcastle under pressure. Pressure. The player then could go to Newcastle and politely ask for a transfer without handing in a transfer request and it'd be up to Newcastle as to whether they want to play ball with Manchester City or not and it'd probably be well within Man City's best interest to do something similar to what we did with Declan Rice but rather than going in with our take it or leave it offer you go in low with your first offer for Bruno G then officially you know Man City are interested. Newcastle know that an agreement's in place and they know the player wants the transfer. Puts Newcastle under all kinds of pressure uh, and a 
eventually you could find a bit of a compromise on the fee that doesn't involve Man City spending £100 million. It will take weeks of negotiations to get sorted and I think City are just being a little bit hesitant right now because they just want clarity on the other players, what's happening with them and once they've got word of what's happening with them in the next two to three weeks then they'll start to focus fully on Bruno G and they'll then start to focus on other players if they want to add anybody. I'll be very surprised if Man City maybe don't look at a squad player to replace Sergio Gomez. I think we'll make a move for Bruno G so it could be a case with adding Savio or Savinho into our team uh, that we could be looking at three new summer signings this window could be two. I think he's playing a dangerous game with going with just one with other teams around us strengthening and Manchester City obviously uh, allowing Rodri to go with another 50, 55, 60 game season which to me just cannot happen so a very serious, very important time in the summer transfer window for Manchester City and I'm really looking forward uh, to the next six weeks or so and keeping you guys up to date every single step of the way daily with my Manchester City transfer update. So if you haven't already guys do subscribe to my channel it is free to subscribe also don't forget social media links they're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my twitter instagram and tiktok email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries don't forget to leave a thumbs up 300 likes is the aim do let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below and finally I want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor which is brought to you by sofascore And I'll see you all again real soon for the next Manchester City transfer video. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.